It's time, baby. Mr. Miyagi hand it's hand <laughs> hand rub. <laughs> Birdman hand rub baby Birdman hand this, rub This the hand rub Where you sign on my label And I take all your money Hand rub baby like, You know what I'm saying Thanks for signing the dotted line <laughs> Thanks for signing your soul over baby your Locked you into mine. a 72 album deal You know what I'm saying Give it all to me <laughs> Right It's time for the motherfucking reviews Can You Dig it The first one we gonna start with is uh, Your boy His last name is The Truth. His first name is Trey. And he's from that H-Town. He has a whole day for him in the city of H-Town. Trey Day. They call him the mayor. He signed the Grand Hustle. Probably one of the streetest rap guys out right now still. Still, yeah. In the game where nobody's really that street anymore. Mr. Trey The Truth has dropped his new album. The third in the series, The Truth Part 3. We're from Texas, so we gotta, you know, we gotta show love to the Texans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's also the cousin of Zero, if y'all didn't know this, which we reviewed two, two episodes ago, I think. Yeah, two episodes yeah, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they don't get along. Right. I, I got a lot to say about this album. Uh, but, you know, you being, uh, the guy from Texas, I want to hear your thoughts on Trade the Truth. I like it. It's a good album. Right. It, it's, it's uh, it's reminiscent of like the Slab album or ABN, right? You know what I'm saying. Which is also like, I mean, I, I was telling you, I was telling you earlier how you could have Trey take him and put it spit everything Zero spit on his album, and then get Zero and put him on Trey and spit everything Trey spit on his album. And it would still sound the same, pretty right. much. You know far you talking about as far as content, yeah, or yeah. style, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was very similar to me. It was just like it was like listening to just another, almost like another Zero another album ABN? Like or another ABN. Like right. where I hear Trey or Zero, and it's almost like hearing another Trey album or right. another Zero. Like is that a good thing? Kind of go hand in hand, but I mean that's just their style, right? You know what I'm saying it is a good thing because I mean that's their style is kind of their style. They don't. A lot of people don't rap like that. You know what I'm saying? And they both do. Nobody, that. nobody but, raps like Trey. No, nah, no. Nah. Except Z- Zero and Trey. You know what I'm saying? That's true. That's true. Which we didn't really get on Zero's at last album. We kind of got them more of the Just more, side. more of the singing. Trey side. does not, Trey cannot sing like Zero. Let's get that out in the, uh, let's get that out in the open right now. He tries. <laughs> he does try. He does try to carry a tune. He you does, know what I'm saying? He does try. Uh, and, and that's uh, why I think Zero probably went with more of that because he can do it. Yeah, because he was like, Trey's not going to be able to copy me this time. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, you know, Zero kind of has some words for Trey directly on his uh on his album, and uh, you know, I didn't really hear Trey. I don't know if he really was. There was maybe some subliminals in there that may have been directed at Zero. Kind of felt like, yeah. but at the same time, I didn't really catch anything that made me go, "Oh, he's talking about Zero on this." Nah, album. yeah, yeah. But um, but you all in all, you thought it was a, a good, a decent album. Yeah, right. It was definitely a good album, and uh, you know, had good production on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's there's one uh one track that is like wasn't it the was it the Trey one I was saying? Uh I couldn't tell if it was a dope beat or not. Yeah. It was Trey, right? Yeah. There's this one beat. What track was that again? Yeah, well you know what me man with like Trey, um I, I was listening to it was <laughs> this is what happened to me. I was the first time I was I took I took I listened to it. Um I stopped maybe about halfway, three quarters of the way through it. Mm-hmm. And then I started replaying it again, like the next day yeah. from that spot, and it was like the fucking album. It was like a different album. Different album. <laughs> it was like a whole different yeah. album, right? Yeah. And I was like, I was like, damn, this is this is some sad shit. Like it went from like just some hood kind of like and then you know, it turned shit, and then it got really you know sad and kind of you know it mellowed out Deep. and kind of got you know it was a lot yeah. of sorrow in there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It was, definitely. Uh, which I, I get it. Like you can't talk about this street shit without talking about the other side. You know yeah, what I'm saying, but it definitely consequences and all that other shit. Yeah, it definitely by halfway through it does change into a, uh, you know, a, a more sorrowful kind of. I don't want to say depressed, but you know what I'm saying, just kind of a a solemn kind of kind of sound here, which I wasn't really expecting. You know what I mean? But uh, all in all, I did think it was a a, a decent album. Um, there was a lot of there was a lot of dope tracks on there, yeah. and <clears throat> Trey he has like a flow, he has a style. 
uh, that I don't really hear anywhere else, especially out in the rest of the game. Like it's kind of like a, a Texas style almost, yeah. you know, that him and zero kind of created almost, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. But it did have some good production on there. And, um, it was prodigy. That's prodigy. Like, yeah. That's yeah. how the, the production on that, I would not like, like I'm listening to it in the car. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm listening to this album as I'm driving this shit. And I could not, like, when I first heard the track, I could not, like, my brain is fighting itself. Right. It's saying, I don't think I like this song. Right, right. Like, this, I don't, this beat, uh, something about this beat, I don't, I don't think I like it. Yeah. And then the next minute, I'm like, this beat's kind of dope. Right. There's a you couple know, there's, of those those moments right. on there. And now. then it's like, do I like this or do I not like because this? Because there's, I think it, what it is is because Trey is sticking to his roots, yeah. but then he's also kind of venturing out into the more modern type sounds. And yeah. so it's it's kind of a mixture of that happening there. Like he's well, he's definitely not afraid to step into the to come, what's going on in I the didn't mainstream. Come to the conclusion right that I liked it. Right. right. <laughs> like, like at the end, I was just like, okay, I do like this. It, it, right. It's different. It's, it's it's kind of weird. Right. I like, I Even like, like the track he did with Young Thug, which isn't the first time he did with Young Thug, but like it's not a bad it's not a bad track. You know what I'm saying? Until Young Thug started rapping. Right. <laughs> That's when I say the chorus right. was dope. Right. That's what I want Young Thug to do on a verse. Right. More right. than him kind of becoming himself, I guess, on the verse. Like, right. spit shit. That's what his potential. I always have seen it like that. And we talked about it on another episode where I was just like, if he just would change that. He has the ambition and he has the tools and everything right there ahead of him, the fans, everything ahead in front of him to be a dope ass artist to people that feel the same way I feel. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he just ain't getting over that bubble because of the heck. Like, that song went hard as fuck, but then once, and I was thinking, okay, because of course I knew it was him, and I'm like, hell yeah, okay. I, I actually like this chorus. I like, I like how you spit in it. Right. It's dope. Trey killed it. Then the chorus went back on. I was like, dope. Then he started rapping. I was like, I knew it was too good to be true. Well, at the end, I don't know if that was Young Thug. I don't think Young Thug rapped on this one. Because I, I just remember hearing like two verses from from Trey. And then this guy, I think his name is Skipper the Flipper. You know what I'm saying? He comes in on the end. And I was like, who the fuck is this? He kind of sounds like uh, like one of the Amigos a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mistaken. But yeah. I think probably my favorite track on here was the Alleviate track with, with Kim. I, I've never heard this guy, but I thought he had some. A couple tracks he was on here, I was like, yo, he's, he's, he's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? That was probably my favorite track on the album. With the, ex- <laughs> there's also the, the last track, which I don't know. I guess I didn't hear that one the first time. I ran through the album, but that last track that has like 38 people <laughs> rapping on there. Right. If y'all haven't heard it, it's a track on here. I'm three point, I, I'm, I'm on 3.0 right. and literally everybody's on here. Chameleon is on here. It's like, a, it's like a 10 minute track. But- Young Thug did rap on that shit. He did? Uh, he started, <laughs> and that's why I was like, no, right. you killed the track. Right. Was it and the not beginning? in a good way. Right, was it, it the was beginning? In the, it was in the I gotta listen to the track again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but all in all, man. But no, that 3.0, that shit, Chameleon there. Out of retirement? Yeah, who the fuck, who the fuck, where the fuck is out Chameleon? Out of retirement? I mean, I mean we know he's been out here getting this 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 uh, this uh money with the... uh you know, in the in the um, in Silicon Valley and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's, he's in the tech world business, or whatever. He's over there business move, making business moves. And shit. Definitely out here making business moves, but he's he's connected with the uh, investment firm and stuff like that. But you know, when was the last time you heard tra- last time the last time I heard Camille on the track was on Big Crit's fucking mix. This is like probably 2011 on Time Machine. That was the last time I heard Camille come out and rap. So Camille is gonna come out, but he only gonna come out for certain people. And you know, and you think we're gonna get a comedian there album? Like, you think he touches on it a little bit, and eventually he's gonna be like, "I, I need to kill it." Like he killed no, that man. Shit. He's an asshole, man. He came out and killed. Comedian that would not drop an album, bro. He needs to. I don't think I, he does need to. I want a comedian album, but I don't think it's gonna happen. The game bro. needs a comedian there album. I think. I think there's some still some shit going on with his label and stuff, man. It's fucking he was horrible, man. It's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, that's why people going independent, bro. You know what I'm saying? But uh, all in all, man, what do you give this? Uh, what do you give this Trade the Truth album, man? Trade the Truth. Yeah. Interesting. What am I gonna give it? Right. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I gave it an eight. You gave it an eight. Solid eight. Solid eight. Yeah. Would you recommend it? I still recommend. Definitely still recommend. Would it. you recommend it to a Texan or would you recommend it to the every, to somebody I, from New York? I'd recommend it for everyone. You recommend it for everyone? For everyone. Yeah. Right. Because if you're musical, if you like music, 
Okay. You'll, you'll like this album. You know what I'm saying? You, no matter what coast you're on. You right. Know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna give a uh, Trader Truth album. I'm gonna give it a, a solid seven point five. Um, I definitely recommend it for people that that kind of want to catch up on this Texas Texas yeah. lifestyle. Kind of spits about that. There's definitely some good standout tracks on here. But there are some tracks on here that I was like, you know, that could have been better. You know what I'm saying? I skipped a few tracks, yeah. Yeah. There's a, I don't know why, but he he does a track with like the, the guitar and he's just like, you know, it kind of sounds like some like Walking Dead type shit. You know what track I'm talking about? Yeah, like, yeah. he did that on, I think he did it on his past couple albums, man. You know what I'm saying? And those tracks, I mean. Venturing out. Yeah, he is venturing out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know they're not really my style. You know yeah. what I mean? But uh, I, I'm, I'm not knocking him. He is from Texas, so I was feeling it. <laughs> I was feeling that rock one that yeah that the guitar, right, the guitar and yeah. shit. I, I've always liked the the mixture of rock and rap. Right, right. right. I don't know if that was really rock though. It's kind of slightly rock. country. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah it was, well, but I know that it's because he's it from good. Texas, I like, I like and he's it. got I he's like got it. some of those fans there because he's not. That's not the first time he's made a track like that. You know what I'm saying? He made a track like that before, and a lot of people liked it. So I'm pretty sure he's kind of catering to that, yeah, yeah. to that fan. But it's not really my 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 taste. You know what I'm saying? Not that I don't like songs like that. I just yeah. don't like Trey in that. In that I don't like him in that in world. That, in that world, I right? Right. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it doesn't to me. You know, it doesn't fit to me. It really didn't. It didn't. It didn't fit. But I like this stuff. Right. It, like like I liked how he he put it together. But either way, at the same time, I wouldn't want to see that more in on a regular basis. Right. You know what I'm saying? But. He pulled it off to me. He did pull it off. Trey yeah. is a uh, he's definitely he's definitely not he's definitely not changing for nobody. He's definitely been doing him, and he's going to continue to do him. And he's going to, you know, one thing I, I got to say to Trey, he's I feel like he's connected with damn near everybody. It seems like seems like it's like he it seems like he can get anybody on a song if he wanted to. Yeah. I think the only person he has done a song with is probably Jay Z. To me, I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, Kanye I West. feel like with, with it, I could also tell that he went he went uh, mainstream a lot more, right? Way more mainstream than. And he did. He did show you that he stuck to his Texas stuff. Right. You know I'm saying he stayed with that, but he definitely got a lot of dope do a lot more beats that shit. has kind of the old school samples in it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of that on there. You know, how we talk about like rappers not using the old. He definitely uses that throughout this album, which is <laughs> that's like, a that's that a, shit went hard. That's a hot song. I'm yeah. not gonna lie to you. That shit went hard. But shout out to Trey, man.